Hi, I'm Dan Music. In this video, we'll show you how to adjust the top fixture roller carrier to seal the gap between the top section and the header and the jams. Here's how the hinges and door track work together. The track slants in towards the jam as it approaches the floor. The hinges are graduated so that the lowest roller is closest to the section and the highest roller is furthest. The hinges follow this sequence. If they are not in the correct order, numbered from the bottom 1, 2, 3, and so forth, you will not have a consistent gap. First, measure the gaps between the door and the jam. You can either measure from the door jam to the outside of the door, or from the door jam to the inside of the door. Once you've taken the measurements, decrease the gap to a quarter inch if your door framing allows for it. To adjust for the gap on the top section, you'll need to adjust the top fixture. To do this, loosen the nuts that secure the roller carrier to the top fixture. This will let the roller slide back and forth and allow you to adjust the top section. To minimize the gap, pull out the roller, pushing the door forward until you get a consistent gap, then tighten the bolts. Before using the opener, open the door manually to ensure that the top of the door does not hit the opener rail. One thing that can happen when you adjust the roller carrier is that as you open the door, the top of the roller binds in the track. This can cause the hinge to break or wear prematurely. If this happens, you need to lower the top fixture on the door, positioning it closer to the hinge below it. To do this, remove the screws securing the fixture to the door. Then lower the top fixture an inch or two and secure the screws with a drill or impact wrench. Next, adjust and secure the roller carrier. Notice that the roller is closer to the section. While this may solve the binding problem, it can also create another issue. If your garage does not have enough headroom, the top of the door may hit the cable drum. This occurs because by moving the top fixture, you have changed the point at which the door pivots. So instead of turning almost immediately when the top of the door hits the curve, it travels upwards a little further before turning. If this occurs, raise and secure the top fixtures high enough to prevent the top of the door from hitting the opener rail or drums. If you find that you have to relocate the top fixtures to the original positions, you have three options. One is to return the rollers to their original positions and replace the top hinges periodically. Or you can adjust the top roller carriers so there's a bigger gap. This can be remedied by bending the tops of the vertical PVC stop molding to seal the door. A third option is to install low headroom top fixtures or double low headroom tracks at accompanying hardware. You may prefer to have a professional do this for you. I'm Dan Music. Thank you for watching.